Yo, what you doing, bro? I know you ain't click on this video, not subscribe to me, and you not gonna hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button for your boy, and if you already hit it, just stay tuned for the video. But everybody who didn't subscribe, be sure to do that right now. And also, if y'all need that lockdown defense, I got y'all. Everything y'all see here, everything y'all see in my gameplay, my whole Buffalo Bills defense to dominate, winning games, getting picks, getting sacked, fumbles, whatever you need, stopping aggressive catching, stopping power stretches, I got y'all. Link is in the description. Without further ado, let me get y'all into this gameplay blitz reaction video. Whatever y'all watching, let's get it. Yo, what it do, YouTube? Your boy J Man flow back with some more heat with a running back block, bro. Like blocking, you gonna get double edge heat regardless. No matter what side is coming from, the same side as the running back, same side as it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? I got y'all with the setup. It is called it's called the dime blitz out the dollar. I mean dollar. Out the dime normal. Now I am in a uh right now I'm in the Jacksonville Wise Jaguars playbook. And they have dime normal and a blitz. Other blitz I just uploaded out of the nickel normal. But whatever playbook with dime normal should have this blitz. But all you want to do, you don't want to baseline or man align. Uh you could base align like if you want it to look like every other coverage, you know what I'm saying? But then you just gonna wanna press and then you because like right now it looks like cover two or cover four they don't know what you're in then you want to spread your line and then you want to edge rush and by doing this everybody know this concept of madden when you crash to the same side like a corner is blitzing from it it creates a two-on-one with the lineman therefore causing the corners to come in free and that's the reason uh we're going to get double edge heel on this block the running back so no matter what side they block it from double edge is coming from both sides so what does that mean? That means we can even uh we can even do this. Like if we only want to send it from like the the right side, we can do that. So then when they hike the ball again, it's coming from the right side. Then we can send it from the left, vice versa. It, it's like you really choosing you're really choosing which way you want to send it from. Like, oh, they're hitting the corners over there, so I'm gonna do this. And then that happens, you're coming from the other side. Like it's really like it honestly one of the best blitzing schemes. It's one of the best blitzing schemes in Madden 17 because I ran across it. I went up against it. I'm like, I never knew what side he was going to. So, and then like he, if he like say he put a purple on this side, right? If he put a purple on this side, I would block a running back. I tried corner strike. He just used it a corner. He just used it a uh, what you call on that side. It was just ridiculous. So like like he just used it a C route to the left. If he put the corner route or if he put the corner on a purple over there. And this man was killing me with this blitz. And then when it was third and long, all he would do is send all six. So no matter if I Mac protect or whatever, it came in regardless. So that was this is real frustrating to go against. Uh, but like I said, the only thing you could really do is like get a try to get a run game going against this. But with him spreading the line and linebackers, you're not really gonna uh run to the outside. So the only thing I try to do is hit the middle. But like I think when I did try to run the ball, let's see what we got. Yeah, when you try to run the ball like the middle, yeah, the middle was wide open, but like I forgot what he was doing with that. I think he was using his safety most of the time. Uh if he would think I would run, he would uh he'd do this. He'd do something like this. He'd bring his safety in the box. He'd bring like both safety towards the box. He had like fantastic corners and he would like wait right there. So then when I would run the ball, uh he would just come right through that gap where he would shoot it before the linebacker got there. But like I said, uh, sometimes that's how I beat him. I just end up kept pounding the ball. But then, uh, like I said, he didn't spam this play. So I like the only time I really can run the ball is when he. Uh, only time I can really run the ball is when he, like, when I saw him in this, and like he would wait right here. And so then when he would switch to the inside zone and run it, he'd just shoot that gap like that, and it was annoying. And like <laughs> the run D out of this, I don't know. It's just ridiculous to go against. And I, then I'd be like, all right. Uh, I was stuck in third and 11 or something, and then I just go like this, have no time, couldn't make a read, but the only thing I do is start running quick outs, uh, quick outs, only thing I, I could start doing really was running quick outs, quick slams, but then he would start doing this, because he knew I didn't have no time, so he would play cloud flats, He, I, I know he would pick cloud flats up, because he knew I had no time, so even if I streak this dude, the, the corners will run with them because he's in cloud flats and I do this or I didn't really have that much time to do that usually but like but it's just the way he did it like he didn't really press with him uh the only thing he did was like uh when he would press he would do this he would make he would like drag his corners off and he would just bring those two down so then it's like now I'm stuck in this 
Now I'm just stuck in this, what you call him. And then he'll do this, he'll do this, then he'll play Kyle Flats. I will try to put these guys in streaks. And like, I go to throw the ball. I mean, now I guess it's working, but the way his corners and the people he had month was just ridiculous. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, no, I think he'll put these guys in purples. I'm pretty sure that's what he would do. Let me try that. Let's see if that works. Yeah, but that's exactly what was happening to me the whole game. Uh, I couldn't throw outs because they was in purples, but like, it's just ridiculous. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Like I said, it's not the dime normal. It's a nice blitzing scheme to mix in with your uh, offense. And sometimes, then he'd go like this. Then, like, I would think he was sitting a blitz and he'd do something like this and spy me. Oh, my God. Like, it was just so frustrating to go against. Uh, this is a nice blitzing scheme if you can uh, make the right adjustments. Like, I'm telling y'all, have a lot of success with this. But I hope y'all enjoy this. But until then, it's your boy, J-Mail Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go.